Shalom and welcome to Yom Tov. This year is entitled "Why I Insist That the Average Guest in My House." Big Tamar Chacham, Bal Tshuva, barely connected to Masora, gives me a bracha when he ventures when he or she recites Berkat Hamazon. So it's a special bracha to be recited. He writes Shalev Shpala Bayit Azeh. For many many centuries, people would just say Harachim Bracha Bala Bayit Azeh. Baruch Hashem, last few decades. He ratzon, which is from the Gemara, a very beautiful bracha, that the owner of the house should have parnasa and should be physically, spiritually well. It's a very nice bracha. So that made a comeback. Arts go started printing it a few decades ago, Baruch Hashem. And I insist that the person, the guest, says the bracha. Why? Two reasons. One, if, if it's an obligation to, for him or her to say the bracha, the guest to say it for the balabayit. For myself and my wife, then he should, I should help him or her fulfill the obligation. And in addition, there's another reason. The Gemara Daf Yomi, <laughs> 15a, Megillah writes, Alti bracha tediot kalabinecha. Don't have a bracha. Don't let a bracha, even if a simple person, be light in your eyes. You never know where God's providence is going to come through and whose bracha is going to have great efficacy. So, A, yeah, I want the person to fulfill his or her obligation to say the bracha they have to say, and also I want their brachot. Because you never know which holy Jew Hashem's going to say, that bracha I'm going to listen to. And I'm going to bless their bracha that they gave you. And I'm going to bless you because of that bracha they gave you. So, for two reasons, we should be careful of a guest saying the special to bracha of the Shalom.